Oh shit. WBA welterweight champion Keith Thurman. There we go. I like this guy. <laughs> you think he's going to pull out? All right. Look at one time. Ponytail longer than never. We'll see them. I'm hyped. Face, January 26th on Fox. A quick photo op. Thank you very much. And, uh, we'll find your seat over there. Thank you. Hi, Jack. Fuck my Los Angeles Times. Mikey, Mikey, for you, this is, you know, what you wanted to do. You wanted to do something different and be special. Taking part in Fox's first pay-per-view, is that part of what you want to do, especially moving up in weight against Errol Spence? Know, that is one of the objectives, you know, to get the biggest fights available and make the biggest splash, you know, and uh, what better way than to do Mikey it. Mikey wanted it. He got it. Fox pay-per-view. Mikey wanted it. He got it. He's making a big deal about that and saying you're a massive underdog. Well, that's why I'm taking it because it's such a big challenge for me, and that's what I'm about. I want the biggest fights, the biggest challenges. Uh, there's no one else out there right now um, that I can – compete with at that level um and you know spence is the guy so that's why i'm after him and errol for you uh, being from texas um bringing this fight to at&t stadium how special is this for you and how well do you think this fight's going to be able to draw well it's a dream come true you know it's going to be a big fight i might have a lot of great fans in texas and um he has a lot of big fans too especially him being mexican so hopefully they come out to support each other Yes, okay. okay. Uh, Mike Hopper, Lance needs some bass in his voice. Thurman, everyone's been excited and waiting for you to come back. First fight in Look at Fred. Years. What are you looking <laughs> to prove? LDBC. Uh, well, like you said, it's been a long time since I've been back in the ring. And um, I'm just going to prove what I've always proved, that I'm the best. That keeps one time Thurman, you know, I've been the problem. I am the truth. Your boy, Your boy is swift. swift. You know, you any know, name that they speed. have, I've already shown all them skills and those talents and attributes. You know, and I, I plan on keep doing it. Um, a lot of people are itching. Uh, I'm itching. They say, when you're getting back, champ, I said, you know, we'll be back soon. And uh, we got the fight date. I'm truly looking forward to it. And I'm going to perform like I always do. Hope that the fans come out. Thank you. This is for uh, Mark Ortega of Sporting News. This is for Keith as well. How long have you been healthy and how, how long did it take to come to the decision you're ready to get back in the ring the beautiful and alluring well, Cynthia Conte the injuries were um they weren't fun and I didn't enjoy you know doing a lot of interviews so I stayed out of the press and things of that nature but what my situation was was elbow surgery which took about 10 to 12 months to recover from then we got back into the gym and we suffered a hand injury so um, all year I've been dealing with that. If I can't jab my sparring partners, there's no way that I'm going to get into the ring. Um, obviously, we gave up the WBC um, title, and we let these boys fight for it um, to bring some more action into the sport. I didn't want to be responsible uh, for no action being in the welterweight division, but I'm back. I plan on getting my belt back and more things to come in the future, but we're starting it off in January 2019. Okay. Uh, Mikey, Sean Zatel, Fight Hype. Uh, the the saying's always went in boxing that a great big man will beat a great little man. Why is that not the case when you fight Errol in March? Well, I think that's, uh, that's pretty common saying, but every once in a while you get these exceptions where the smaller man beats the bigger guy, and that's what I'm after, and that's what I'm looking forward to, and I really believe in myself. That's why I'm able to, you know, keep challenging myself by moving up in divisions. Um, I have great skills that most everybody still hasn't even seen. And I think uh, Errol Spence will be the one to bring those out of me and allow me to perform to the best of my abilities. I think it's going to be a great fight. And this is one of those uh, occasions where the little guy beats the bigger man.
Well, that's, I remember that's March 16th, uh, PBC on uh, pay-per-view. We look forward to that. We have more. Kevin Iola from Yahoo Sports. I want to ask Earl first. Uh, there's some great welterweights sitting right up here, and you're fighting a guy that's had the lightweight title, and while we respect what Mikey's doing, don't you feel like an obligation to have maybe give a chance to one of the great welterweights that's out there? Um, well, I mean, that's the fight that's been offered to me. I think that's a big fight in Dallas. And uh, with Sean Porter, I thought that fight was going to happen. It somehow fell out. And um, with Keith Thurman, he's going to stay injured as long as I keep winning. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't think me and him ever going to fight. If he messed around, retired, I get that WC belt. Well, Sean and Keith, what, what's your reaction to it? I mean, I know you respect Mikey and for what he's trying to accomplish, but what does it mean to you to see the best welterweight in the world instead of fighting one of the two other welterweights fighting Mikey? <laughs> Well, first off, each one of these fights is a great fight for Earl Spence, okay? So, and outside of that, I don't know what happened with negotiation with Sean, but obviously when I'm healthy and I'm ready from beginning. When I stepped on the scene, I said I wanted this belt. I said I wanted that belt. I told you guys I want to grab all the belts, you know? So I'm still on a mission, but my health comes first. In boxing, there are times where what you want today, you're not going to get today, but you can still look forward to tomorrow. Luckily today, I think this is a tremendous fight that's going to happen. I think this is a big opportunity for all of us um, in working with Fox, and I truly look forward to that up and coming fight. I look forward to getting back into the ring, establishing myself as the number one Walter Wade champion in the world, getting this belt back, and then negotiating for that big fight with Errol Spence, Spence that, the, the one, one he thinks he'll, he'll never, never get. get. I'm not Floyd Mayweather. Sean, if you want to respond, uh, right, who else, right? Sure, I can do yes. that. Um, oh, snap. Well, how do I feel about it? I feel like, like you just said, it's a big opportunity for boxing. It's a big opportunity for Fox, for Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence. So um, for Errol to get in the ring with me after my fight and say he wants to fight me, I tell him it's an easy fight to make. Um, I have mandatories for the WBC. Errol Spence did not fall into one of those mandatory. So for me, it's not a matter of me wanting to go a different uh, direction. It's just what happens right now. Um, but the room is full. It's full of champions, full of great fighters, great individuals, great athletes. And we're all going to fight eventually. And we're all going to put on great performances for you guys. Be patient. It's coming. Thank you. And one last question. He got Jamal. Khabib on top of his head. Uh, Jamal, the Khabib hat. Win the coin flip.